y'all. Welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. Today I've got a little project and I don't know that I'm going to finish it today. Probably start it this morning and work on it a little here, there, and yonder. This is a willow wide branch. I want to make me a little dip net. I want to make one that I can use, and I cut into that, I didn't want to. I just want it to peel out and weaken that. But I want to be able to take it in, in the canoe when I'm dipping up crappie. Every now and then, you happen into a bowfin or a bigger fish, and I don't want to fight with no giant, long-handled dip net. I want something I can just kind of lay right beside me, and if I need to help get a crop, that way I ain't straining on my little old light line, and y'all know what I mean. So, I'm going to take my pocket knife, and I'm going to strip all the bark off of this little old willow branch, and then we're going to heat it, and I don't know how well this is going to work. I've never done this. I figure it'll work, though. Gotta work. Gotta work. Um, and we're going to try to do a decent job of making this. Try to make something that we're going to have for a long time and take care of it. Oil it and all that such as that. But I'm not going to weave the net out of with a needle you know them net needles and all that we just gonna tie string all the way around it and tie it in overhand knots together and off and and make a net we're gonna make it out of number 36 tarred bank line that makes all them canterburyites real happy when you use that and it is good perfect time for this type of project so i'm gonna use my heating gun I bought to work on bows with, and apparently I ain't never gonna get to work on a bow. I, I keep too many other projects going on, but and I got other stuff I probably need to be doing today. But I wanted to, I wanted a small project every now and then, just so you could hurry up and get through with something and and get that sense of accomplishment where. Cause I got a lot of big projects going on. A little bit time consuming. And I'm using my case trapper. This morning that sun's coming in over there. While. But I, I use the working blade. You know, these trappers got two blades and I use that for the for this type of stuff. That is one of the reasons I like a trapper. I do all my whittling and carving and whatever with that blade. Now that bark I'm appealing off of there, if you was in pain, you, it's pain medicine. I done throw it all that on the ground. I'm not hurting today, so it don't really matter. And we'll probably take some sand. I'm gonna just throw it away, cause if I, start, I can't save everything. I'm already a hoarder. So let me get this pen. I'll attempt to not make this video just real long, but it might get that way. You can't never tell. I get to talking and carrying on. Y'all know how I am. It just kind of happens that way. So I'm going to get all of this peeled, and when I get it peeled and start something else, we'll, I'll pick you up. I'm going to take a rasp and shave these handles down and all such as that. All right, I clamp this right here in this vise, and I'm going to take a rasp. I'm going to try to do this with mostly hand tools. I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to do every bit of it with hand tools. I like working with hand tools. So I'm going to take these knots where these limbs are off. And uh, just to try to get it a somewhat smooth handle, it ain't got to be perfectly slick. Mr. Tony Parker came down here not long ago and brought me some new rasp to make knives out of. 
I told him, I said, I'm not making no knife out of all of them because I need some of them to use. <laughs> See, I got these big old, big old knots. We're gonna get them. And it don't take but a second, y'all, with a good barrier grab to remove some wood now. Here, I'm gonna slick this inside up best I can. I don't know how good that'll work. That bothering y'all? I wanna round this end off. I could very easily take it over to a chop saw or clamp it in here and cut that off square, but I want it to have some character. I do not like everything to look store bought. I want somebody to be able to look at this and go, that was made by hand. And that's what I shoot for. If it's perfect, perfectly smooth, perfect everything, that ain't what I like. If it's what you like, you do yours that way, okay? It ain't wrong. I just don't like it, okay? And a lot of people don't understand that. They get hung up on what so-and-so does this way. And they, that's the way you need to do. I'm like, uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, I do things the way I like to do. Oh, man. And look at that. I got that all down, y'all. It ain't perfect. We'll get it there. We're going to put some sand into it. Oh. We got a lot of... Is that dry? It's real green right now. And as it dries, this will be easier to, to smooth up. I am going to smooth it up right here on this. I don't want it perfect. I want it, but I don't want all that fuzzy hanging off of it. That's just that inner bark. I had not took it all down. Y'all, I'm just heating, heating. I've got a weak spot right where my thumb is because I cut into it right there like a dummy. When you're peeling this bark, if you decide to do this, make sure you don't cut into the wood. I, I think I'm going to be all right, I, I hope. I don't know. We'll see. Because I'm not wanting to make a big net. If it breaks off right there, I think I can overlap enough to do what I want to do anyway. So it may need to be cut there anyhow. But it would have given me more leverage for what I'm doing at the moment. You know what I mean? Cause I'm not try I'm making a crappie net. I'm not making like a grinnel net. Now I may never know what I'll be able to try to dip up with it. I mean, you know how that goes. So I'm just heating and bending. I would like for that to open out a little more. So far, it's doing very good. I need to get one. And y'all, I've got two pieces of, of wire right here, tie wire, that I'm going to initially, because I'm don't. i going to have to, I'm holding that where I don't, oh. Mm. Yeah, right there. Let me get it work. I'm having to do it like this because of where I screwed up. So I'm just heating and bending. Okay, right here, I got this pulled down. I'm, I'm got me a piece of tie wire right there so I can hold that over 
while I get this other one into shape and then I can do a little more shaping. So now I'm finna start trying to bend on this other one. So it'll be a little bit, let me get it heated. Now obviously y'all, you can heat this over a campfire. You can steam bend it. Uh, the reason I didn't steam bend it is I would have had to drug all the stuff out to do it, which wouldn't have been a huge issue. I just wanted to go at it this way and I really wanted to experiment with this because I'm gonna use it in some bow building. Uh, but the next thing is I've got a mine rigged up where it's a long tube, it's like four inches and I use it for several different things and it's currently in use for something else but both of these Y branches wouldn't have fit in there without me really squeezing them together so what I'm doing right now is I'm going to bend this out a little bit and then I want to go in where it's a little more open right here uh, because this branch was more in line straight so I'm opening this up but y'all, there's way more, like I said, the best way to do things the way you like to do it. And that don't mean that, that everything in life, the way you like to do it is the right way. I may do things the wrong way, but it's better for me going to do it my way. And there's, y'all, there's way more than one way to do just about everything. Uh, we get caught up in a society that, well, if everybody else does it this way, well, you need to do it. <laughs> The biggest thing is people will get in the comments and they ain't never done that in their life, but they just watched a video where somebody else did it another way that they like that person. And they think, well, everybody ought to do it that way. And I need to get on everybody else's video and tell them they need to do it that way. That ain't how this works. I'll just about tell you, if I see a video where somebody does it one way, I'll just about make sure that my video is doing it a different way. Number one, I want you to know there's more than one way to do it. Number two, I don't want to make videos that somebody else has done made. I mean, why do something that somebody else has done proved works? We get an idea that everything has to be a certain way. And y'all, that really ain't the case. Most everything can be done more than one type of a way. I have people on my cooking video, well, you ought to cook this and try this and do it like that. And, and you, uh, uh, the biggest thing I get, well, that wasn't ripe, or that was green, or this was wrong, or you shouldn't have eaten that, or that wasn't clean. Or... Do y'all know that in cooking, <laughs> the only reason the primitive people really started cooking food was because it was a little bit rare, and that was a way to kill the bacteria in it. It wouldn't to make it taste better. <laughs> Most all of the primitive people, the Native Americans, the mountain men adapted to this as well. When they killed something, they just about cut a part off and stood right there and eat it, dripping blood off their chin. Now, if I made a video doing that, some of y'all would really frown, wouldn't you? I bet you'd report it to Facebook and, and YouTube and whoever, wherever I shared it. Oh, this is terrible. We can't have this. <laughs> you can't be some kid or try this. You can't do that. And that, actually, it works. You think about all the animals. Do they cook any of their food? And they still alive. <laughs> so, you know, we get conditioned to think that things have to be a certain way just because a lot of other people do it that way. So... With that being said, you can heat this with a campfire, heat and gun, steam, pot, you know. You can just lay this right over a pot of boiling water, it'll work. Some, pro some ways are a little faster than others. I had a fella got on there the other day on one of my videos where I was sewing up a knife sheet. I didn't know how to style set. There was plenty of tutorials on Facebook or YouTube that I could watch and learn how to saddle stick. You know, as long as I get the thread through all the holes and it holds the sheep together, that's the only thing that mattered. He was more worried about that I didn't do it the way he liked. <laughs> it tickles me at people, y'all. <laughs> so if you ever decide you're going to put your life on the internet, you better be ready to either argue on the internet or delete people or just grin at them and laugh and go, I ain't you know.
It's sad that we have got to a place in society that people think everything has to be done a specific way. And if you don't do it the way they like, they ain't going to listen. They ain't, ain't going to throw a fit. And the next thing is, is the way they like to do it is usually because of somebody they like does it that way. Well, that's the way I'm going to do it. Just because I like this person and that's how they do it. Well, you can like me and not like the way I do something. I tell you one, for instance, I actually like old Dave Canterbury. I mean, he's a, a good, knowledgeable guy. He's common sense, which is rare these days. And I like the guy. I mean, I really do. I watch not all of his videos because I don't have time to watch all of nobody's videos no more. Really, I don't watch a lot of videos at all, really, anymore. But old Dave, if he grabs a new knife up, he's just about for sure Go grab him a stick up and go to whopping on the back of that knife. Just, I don't know why. And you know, I, it don't hurt nothing. And it's, it, you know, I mean, it, there's times when you need to be able to do that to split up some small stuff. But just, that be the first way you're going to break up firewood. I, it, I'm so against that. But you know, I don't feel the need to tell him he's got to stop just because I don't like it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you know, while I'm making things, you have to bear in mind that a lot of the issues. Like this, I've never made a dip net in my life. I've never even bent willow branches like this in my life. I'm learning right here as I feel. I have, the mountain men usually used willow to make their beaver hoops, and you see one hanging up over here. Well, that is not willow, that is privet. I have found I really like privet. I make most of my arrows, my ramrods, all of that stuff is just about made out of privet because I have an abundance of it. Uh, now I have to go back down to the swamp to find these willow branches. In fact, I toted this particular willow branch probably three quarters of a mile back to the house from the swamp down there just because I hunted one up that was branched in a way I thought I could use to make this dip net. We fix them. All right, see how I did that? I need to get this off. I may actually need it in a second because I'm actually going to wrap this right here. Now I'm going to take some string I've got and really bandage a lot of these areas up around here to keep this as I wanted it. I had thought about shaving to a point, either one, but I was scared in the bending process it would split, you know, like the back of a bow limb. So while this is still green, I'm going and I don't know I've got my string that I use for my uh I want to so right here I've got this is what I lace my sheaves up with and I've got an abundance of it, so. Get me a sip of my coffee. I can see now, y'all, this is gonna wind up being a long video. I, I try at times to, to make short videos, but 
I just about can't do it, you know. And I don't know the best way I want to wrap this. I tell you what, I think I'll do. I can see that wire right there is all, oh, that's gonna be a nightmare. Oh my Jesus. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this right here with strain good and tie it in such a way that it stays on there and I'm gonna keep it tight and all like that. So I'm gonna do that in a couple of places to keep from making this video just absolutely 45 minutes. Keep it in the 30 minute mark if we can. I'm gonna wrap these in several different places. All right, y'all, I think I got all my knots about like I want them. Oh. Put my pocket knives and stuff back in my pocket now. Mm -hmm. Y'all, this ain't gonna be for, you know, big fish. I realize it's a little, little flimsy if you decide to hook up a big grunt on I mean, like I said, you never know what's gonna happen, but I'm, uh, I'm making this mainly for in the canoe when I'm down there paddling around and I'm catching little small panfish crappie mainly. Because every now and then them crappie can be big enough and me fishing with that little mini rod, I could kind of help dip them in the boat with me. So, And the biggest thing is I just wanted to make a net and film it. Okay. <laughs> so let me get started on the rest of y'all. I got all of them on there. I used all of that roll got out another roll and this roll I ordered from a company it ain't quite as tarred as the other so maybe it'll it won't be as give out no I, it'll be all right if it ain't tarred enough I think I can do it and I decided I was gonna put granny knots now that they seem like they are working the best in other words when you cross you don't do the same way as a square knot I don't know how to explain that really some of y'all know what i'm talking about but they seem to work the best on this for me and i'm sure there's a lot better ways to have done this so now what i'm gonna do is go all the way around this and i'm gonna have to quit working on it because i got some other things that i have got to do today and it may be a day or two y'all before i get all of this finished and conclude this video Y'all know how, how all that works, don't you? So I'm just gonna work my way around it. Time knots. I mean a time consuming deal, y'all here. Yeah. Yeah. So. It'll probably take several hours to do what I'm doing. I've seen different ones. Do you know you use a needle and and do one and just keep working your way and that works. Do it that way if that's the way you want to do it. By all means do it that way. Oh uh, I've seen the overhand knots. I tried several different knots, but here's the deal. Them chickens is getting excited back there. All this has to do is hold a fish. That's it. It ain't uh, a competition on whose is the prettiest, who used the best wood in the right size branch. Uh, this is about an old boy that was out there and didn't have a dip net and he needed one and he had a roll of string and a pocket Now He went at it. You could do this over, like I said, over the campfire, over, you know, a lot of different ways you could do it. And you can tie these knots up short or long, big as you want to. You can make them all just as little bitty holes where you dip manners up. I need it mainly to hold a crappie. You know what I mean? Need it to hold a crappie. So, and I'm I want to try to keep my 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 stuff somewhat together but i'm not hung up on every one of these rows of knots has got to be perfect all the way around 
So, you know, if you do, you, you, your, your OCD may be worse than mine. You know what I mean? I'll tilt you down just for a second so you can kind of see. I've squatted down here, not to get in the camera, but so I can get eye level with what I'm doing. As you pull these, they're going to work their way to where they want to be. You see how some of them is closer together? And once you get in a rhythm of doing this, it, it ain't that hard, y'all. It really ain't. Now, what I my plan is, I'm not going to try to make this net taper to a point. I want it to come down straight and then I'm going to lace it all together like into a, like it looks like a basket. You know what I mean? Okay. Come up here to the point and you got these individual knots hanging out where it's sewed together. We want to start pulling them together. So I'm going to leave the first one loose and I'm going to pull the two knots all the way together and I'm going to tie another square knot. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to come back to my other one, pull my other two knots right here together, and we tie in a square knot, not the slip knot I have been tying, okay? And as I work my way down through here, I'm probably going to quit and finish this in the morning, y'all. I have got to go get ready to go to church tonight. It's Wednesday night. Oh. So I'm probably going to finish tying this up in the morning. I'm just using, just pick me one of them knots and, and I am. So the bottom of it will look like this. And you see how it's come together. And then once I'm done tying knots, I'll trim all this loose off. So you're fixing to see it be morning daylight, me and new clothes. Hang with me. y'all we got a dip net here made pretty much hey that's gonna be a dandy crappy net i'm talking about a dip them up man just left and right just crappy out the crappy so i got some boil in seed oil i put here in a jar it's hard to dip it out of that big old jug <coughs> and my old brush him boy that thing done got look at it i done dip so much boil in seed oil it done got still i need to soak it some turpentine but we're going to put a little, it'll still do the trick. i tell you what, we're going to get over here and I say it'll do the trick, boy. Probably ain't going to soak it up the best in the world. Probably needed to have got me a better brush. Who be right. This is how you get your counter good and cured. Cause you know this thing here is gonna wind up laying in the bottom of the canoe and everywhere else soaking up water.
Now we gotta get this handled good. And I'll put another coat on it, y'all, later on after the video's over, cause it'll have to soak in and dry a little. Y'all know how that works. Oh yeah. We're gonna probably get us some turpentine soak it brush here. Sit that back up yonder. I better put that lid back on there good. I'll forget about it. I keep thinking, well, I'll do that in a minute, but I better do it now. All right, y'all. We got a dip net. Y'all, this thing right here is gonna be fine for what I wanna do. We got it tied all up. I think it looks good. So anyway, thank y'all for watching Spirit of the Outdoors. Remember, the best way to do things is the way you like to do it. We'll see y'all. Y'all have a good one.